Welcome to World Conflict Channel. Battles continue in Ukraine. Along with the battles, the failures of the Russian forces also in Vulidar continue. Today the Russians again tried to seize the city. The Russian army, which attacked the Ukrainian positions from the south, could not achieve what it wanted again. According to local sources, although the Russians, supported by the Air Force, made partial advances in the first line of defense, this progress did not last long. The Ukrainian armed forces immediately launched a counterattack and the Russian forces could not withstand this attack any longer and had to return to their positions with heavy losses. Many footages of the battles were also shared on social media. This is the second largest attack by Russian forces on the city in the past week. Besides, while Prigaz and Post daily complaints about lack of ammunition, soldiers of the 136th Brigade, he will be replacing the 155th Kamikaze Brigade in Vulidar, accused the command of sending all ammo to Wagner. Сейчас почти все снаряды идут в Артемовск, в подразделение ЧВК Вагнер, которое может садить выстрелить недельную норму боеприпасов, чего мы себе позволить не можем. Теперь наша совесть чиста, и в случае повторения судьбы 155 бригады вы будете знать причину. According to the UK Defence Ministry, Russia facing dilemma over support for new Vulidar assault or fighting near Bakhmut. In its latest intelligence update, the British Defence Ministry says Russian military planners are likely facing the dilemma of attempting another Vulidar assault or supporting intense fighting further north near Bakhmut and Kremena. The new intelligence update says, on the 4th of March 2023, the Russian Ministry of Defence released a video of a rare visit to Ukraine by Russian Defence Minister Sarjai Shogu. There is a realistic possibility that this was partially in response to recent footage of the the owner of Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigazin, visiting his fighters on the front line. Wagner is in a high-profile dispute with the Russian Ministry of Defense and Shogu is likely sensitive to being compared to Prigazin. The only deployed Russian field commander shown in the video was Colonel General Restam Muratov. It is notable that Muratov is responsible for the Vulidar sector of Donetsk Oblast, where several assaults have failed in the last three months. Until recently, the Russian command likely saw breakthrough at Vulidar as a key way to achieve an operationally significant breakthrough in Ukraine's lines. Russian planners are likely facing the dilemma of attempting another Vulidar assault or supporting intense fighting further north near Bakhmut and Kremena. At the same time, critical situation continues in Bakhmut. Russia has entered Dubravo Vasilivka, even though this morning they said he had taken control of it. Fierce fighting takes place in the the north of the city. However, according to the information so far, there has been no significant Russian advance in the north in the last 24 hours. Also, tankers of the 93rd Brigade continue to destroy Russian positions in the south of Bakhmut. The city stands. It is defended by Iron Man. Note the high rate of fire of the tank. No progress has been made by the Wagner forces in this direction since yesterday. In addition, Ukrainian sources claim that Wagner forces have brought additional forces to the region to support the attacks in Bakhmut. This is a sign that the Wagner attacks will intensify in the coming days. Thanks for watching. You can support us by subscribing to our channel.